Winter is coming. So there is a recession that is coming and how bad it will be and how deep it will go. We just need to wait and see. But as a gym owner, what can you do to withstand the storm that is gonna hit? And how can you prepare to come out the other side even better than where you are right now? In this video, I wanna walk through several steps that you should be focusing on right now and throughout any type of recession or potential downturn in the marketplace. And I also wanna talk about one thing at the end that impacts all of it and is more important than anything else. So make sure you stay to the end to see the final point. Now, point number one, and this is very basic, and this is very simple, but it blows my mind how many gym owners and business owners, period, that don't actually do this. Everyone thinks that they're the exception to the rule, especially as entrepreneurs. As entrepreneurs, we're very optimistic. Business owners, we love to think of like, everything's gonna be great, everything's gonna be amazing. I I will be able to withstand anything that happens. But in reality, 95% of people are not the exception to the rule. You've got your 5% outliers who are exceptional. The rest of us, we're not. Meaning we have to play to the statistics. We have to play to the rules or we have to play to the percentages. And the percentages are going to say that a lot of people are going to see a downturn. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means that you need to take a real hard look at your PL, your profit and loss statement. You need to look at where the money is going. You need to look at your expenses, every line item, every single one, and you have to ruthlessly and I mean ruthlessly, cut anything that is not generating revenue or keeping revenue. That means any ancillary tech stuff. So if you've got this app that you have a subscription for, get it off your books. If you have someone that is not pulling their weight in your facility and you're paying them, get them out. You need to fire them. You need to cut them. It is really important to understand that your loyalty lies with the business, not with the individuals in the business. Your loyalty lies with the business because if the business is not there, those individuals are not there either. They're working somewhere else and you can't change more lives. So when you're looking at it, number one, Go through all of your expenses for the last 90 days, pull an expense report, go line by line by line by line, and ruthlessly cut anything that is not making you money or keeping you money. Everything else that's just a nice to have or even a potential nice to have or something that you're not using on a daily or even at worst weekly basis, cut it. You'll be shocked that you probably don't even need it in the first place and it's just every single little dollar or cent that goes out the door right now could be going to your bottom line and shoring up for future stores that you need. Number two, and I, I kind of talked about this on the people side, but I wanna go deeper into this. On the people side, you have to be ready to put your head down and work because most likely during this time, you will have to let go of people and you have to be prepared for that. And you have to really assess where your business is right now. A good rule of thumb, a very good rule of thumb is that 30% of your revenue should be allocated to payroll. That also includes you as a gym owner, as W-2. Your distributions will come on top, but your W-2 salary that you get should also be included in that 30% of total payroll in regards to revenue. 30% of total revenue should go to payroll. Your W-2 is part of that. And so it's really important to understand you need to ruthlessly look at that. If you are above that, it might be time to cut some people. You might have some heavy weight and some people dragging along that are not doing what they need to. Now, when you start to cut people, you really want to look at what are areas that are nice to have in the business that are not actually generating revenue. Maybe it's a, a person on the side that's doing administrative work that I'm paying two to $3,000 a month that isn't actually helping me grow the business. And they're doing a lot of busy stuff. Yeah, I get that. But maybe I could do that busy stuff and work a, a couple more hours a week and get that done. Maybe it's a trainer that's not pulling their weight and they're not actually adding any value and they've been on the cusp for a long time, this would be the time to cut them. But either way, it's really important to understand that you are going to have to most likely make some very hard decisions and you're gonna to have to really look at your staff and cut people that are not performing at a high level. It just is what it is because you are beholden to the business. You have to make sure you're making the right choice for the business and I know you can absolutely do it. Point number three, and this kind of goes alongside the people side, but now we're talking about what you shouldn't cut. The businesses and specifically the gyms that win during a recession and a downturn of anything are the ones that are still able to make a profit when they acquire a new customer. The last thing that you want to cut is marketing. If you shut down your marketing, you're going to struggle because what's the first thing that most businesses cut during a recession? Marketing. It's the first thing. So all of a sudden you have a chance to gobble up the marketplace. People are still going to want to get fit. During the 2008 recession, the fitness industry only saw a 1% downturn. 1%. That's it. There's tons of opportunity. All your competitors are going to go out there and they're going to stop marketing because they're going to be like, oh, I need to bring it all in a house. We're going to work on referrals. We're just going to work on this. But the problem is, is that people are still gonna churn, period. So let's say you have 10% churn, which is below industry average. If you have 10% churn, that's only going to go up with a recession. And if you're not bringing new people in, then you're going to just lose faster and faster. So when you think about it, you should actually spend the same, if not more on marketing, because marketing will potentially get cheaper because other businesses and platforms are going to want to keep advertisers on their platform. So they're gonna make it more inviting to advertise. So this is an exceptional time to start advertising. And if you have the right mousetrap on the back end to create a profit as soon as you sign 
someone up, then you will absolutely crush it because you will continue to get new customers and you'll be able to retain your current customers and you'll be able to grow when other gyms are slowly losing or they're losing really fast and they have to shut down. So it gives you a chance inside your community to gobble up everyone around you, okay? And point number four, this is the most important piece across all of this and it goes across everything else. And if you stay till the end, thank you so much for your time and attention. I don't wanna take it for granted, but this is the most important piece that you could think about period, at any point in time, whether it's a recession, upturn, downturn, bear market, bull market, doesn't matter. Biggest thing that you have to remember, never give power to beliefs that don't serve you. Because if you start thinking about a recession right now, oh, I need to change this, this, and this, and this is gonna impact me, and all these things that you can't actually control, then it's going to affect the way you show up inside of your business, and ultimately, your business will be impacted by it, typically in a negative light. Is it good to be aware of all these things? Absolutely. Should I plan for the worst? Absolutely. But should I show up in a way where I am preparing myself to be the best that I possibly can as an owner, as a salesperson, as a trainer, in every role of my business. And so when you're thinking about this, do not give power to the idea that everything is going to go to shit and the recession is going to kill everything. That's not true at all. That's just a belief. It's a story that people like to tell and it's a story that the media likes to sell. And so it's really important to think about it this way. If the previous recession in 2008, the fitness industry only dropped by 1%, that means you have an incredible opportunity here if you spend more time on getting better at the basics. If you get better at marketing, marketing, if you get better at lead nurture, getting those people to show up, and you get better at sales, you will grow exponentially during this time, while others in your marketplace, community, and around the world will close down. And so this is an incredible opportunity only if you focus on the things that you can control. If you get caught up in all the stuff about how bad the market's going to be, and all the what ifs, and what's happening in the political realm, and the financial realm, and all this stuff, then you're going to spend your time and attention on things that don't serve you, won't actually help you grow your business to help you reach more people change more lives and stack more cash. And so if you do anything, just shut that out. Put blinders on, stop watching the news, stop watching anything, and only focus on the things that are going to help you grow, both personally and professionally. Spend more time on learning how to get better lead costs. Spend more time learning how to get more people to show up. Spend more time learning how to sell people, how to actually present value in a sales presentation, how to close more people. Because if you close them, you can change their life and learn how to become a better leader during these times. Learn how to communicate better. And what you'll be shocked at is that when you start to do this, your life will totally change. You will forget about all the outside factors. You'll only focus on the things you can control and your business will grow and you will change more lives than you ever thought possible and you will stack cash during a time when everyone is tightening their wallets and not thinking about that at all. So if you wanna be part of the 1% during this time, only focus on the things you can control. As always guys, thank you so much for your time and attention. Never wanna take it for granted. If you like this information and you wanna learn more about how to grow your gym and all the skill sets that you need, we have a ton of free information for you. Hit the subscribe button down below subscribe to the channel. Down below, there's a link to a free PDF that we put together called the seven money models we use to build gyms to over $100,000 a month like clockwork. Download it. There's tons of trainings that go along with it. It's part of this channel. And if you're interested and you want us to help you build a recession proof, bulletproof facility and help you focus and learn the most important pieces of your business to get the highest ROI on your time and attention and to grow a wildly profitable gym fast. After you download that PDF, you'll have a chance to book a call with our team and you could do that. Either way though, just consume the content and actually put it into action and you'll see incredible returns inside your business. Again, thank you so much. Gym Owners Rule.